Hello guys, this is Paul from Pamperdu and welcome to the fourth episode of LSDJ Hidden Tips and Tricks. Well, this one is not really that much of a hidden trick as much of a, a tutorial on how to achieve a very specific uh, sound design that is essential to making, I think, electronic dance music uh, now. So we're going to talk about sidechaining compression and I've had this idea by making a very small snippet of a dead mouse cover of his song Strobe, which I do not own, please don't sue me. And here is what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so first what we need to do is to cover what sidechaining actually is in the context of uh, modern electronic music today, and then we're going to cover how to achieve a similar effect uh, inside LSDJ and within its limitations. So first of all, what is sidechaining? Sidechaining is short for sidechaining compression, and uh, what it does is basically you route the kick track of a song, or any other track really, but it's most telling when you take a kick track. You route the kick track of a song to a limiting compressor and what it's going to do is it's going to detect the kick waveforms and uh, crush the volume of every other track that you've routed the compressor to uh, so that every time the kick hits the volume of every other track is uh, crushed down and then back up so that the kick sounds more full and more present than if it was heard at the same time of as the, for example, a uh, reverb tail or a bass track or a chord track in the context of a song. So it's, and then it's been used as part of electronic sound design in modern electronic music uh, to an extent where it's more part of writing than sound design itself. But uh, telling examples include, um, for example, Flume's remix of uh, Disclosure song You and Me, when you have the kick being very, very loud, and then the chord tracks being faded in very slowly, like whoop. And then this has been used in electronic dance music, in, in house, in any kind of electronic dance music, even, even starting from the 90s, when you have like kick and chord and kick and chord, and it sounds like whoop, 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 for example. And in the context of the song, of the Dead Mouse cover, uh, there is a way to emulate a similar effect as side chaining, even without compressors, because in the context of LSDJ, we do not have access to compressors. So, in the context of the Dead Mouse cover, here is what the main bass line should sound like without any effect. But since uh, in most of the time, uh, kick and bass has to happen in the same channel in the context of LSDJ, we're going to have to have this. So you are going to notice two things. First, the groove is three instead of six. You can, you can totally achieve a similar result in groove six. This is groove six. And what we can do to like, technically this is already a similar effect as the sidechain because you cannot have the kick and the bass playing at the same time. But then what we can do to increase the fade in effect on the bass is this, putting envelope commands. So two is 50%, three is 100% volume. So this is what it's going to sound like. It's very nice because it's timed together with the 16th note, but you might want uh, a higher resolution of control for your envelope commands and in, you might not want the pumping effect. So what you can do is actually put the groove to, to three, 
that is to say double the speed of what we've just seen and have double the resolution for your envelope commands. So this is still sidechain, but much faster, actually double the speed of what we just heard. Uh, just as if this was triggered at the same time. Actually, this is a 30 second note. So this is barely noticeable and that's what we want. We want the effect to be there so that the kick stands out, but to be barely noticeable. In the context of this first loop, this is what it sounds like. It's almost as if you, you hear the bass being triggered at the same time as the kick, but this is an illusion being made possible by the fast groove. Also, you're going to notice that the pulse channel is also subject to side chaining. It's almost as if you hear the kick pumping in even if it's not triggered. So what we use to do this is just the same, an envelope command. My instrument here has a constant envelope of 6. But what I did was put an envelope command that starts from 0 and rises at the speed of A every beat. This is in groove 6. This is in groove 0, so groove 6. So this gives a little bit more of a 4 to the floor groove to your track and it helps the kick stand, stand out a little more and even if you have no kick playing you still have the feel of the song being played. Like Without the side chaining envelope effect you would be kind of at a loss to what the feel of the song would be but with the envelope command on you can really clearly hear when the kick is gonna hit. And in this second loop, uh, I have increased this even further. So what I did was actually um, take a second kick patch, we're back in groove one, so three, take a second kick patch and make it longer, kill at six and a slower pitch down, whereas the first kick was actually killed at 4 and had actually the same pitch down. So this has more low end being played in this part of the song. Kind of, this is exact, this plays at exactly the same space in exactly the same place as if I had played this part. But But here, the envelope up is more gradual than in the previous loop. So this gives time for the kick to really stand out. And then we have the bass pumping in faster. So you can, you can hear the kick very clearly and then the bass just, is just there as if nothing had happened. And I also increased uh, so the power of the kick and also the kick transient. Whereas in the first loop was really more subdued. So you can really play with it to have a change of intensity in the context of a full track. For example, this could be a verse and this a chorus. So this is how you can use side chaining in the context of a full track. You can also apply the same envelope command uh, to a noise channel, for example, if you want. If you want this, for example, let's put the same command OA and then copy paste it every beat. Actually, this is kind of really used often in the context of house tracks. Like, your heads are not actually hit, but they're just like pumping in. 
And this is great for like breaks or risers where you can just have the note being pumped in instead of hitting on the on the beat. This way your kick really stands out more. I think that wraps it up. Thanks for watching guys. This has been the fourth episode of Pampadu's LSDJ Hidden Tips and Tricks. See you soon for another video. Please react in the comments if you liked it, if it was clear enough, and what you would like us to cover next in the next video. Thanks. Goodbye.